Nagbabalik po ang NCA Season 91 and as always, hinahanap natin yung ating mga napakagandang fans dito sa loob ng arena, Mikey. Kaya naman, if you want to be seen on the big screen, just come down here to arena, the arena dito sa Lungsod ng San Juan. Mikey, balikan po na natin itong nangyari doon July 14, Arellano against EAC. We actually covered this game, Anton. Eh, ang nangyari nga dito, tinambakan na naman ng, ng Arellano yung EAC ng first half. But, uh, but just like their matchup against El against Lyceum, medyo nag-dip na naman yung scoring nila ng second half. Pero we saw another explosion from Zach Nichols. 18 points, 4 of 9 from 3. Ito nga namang si Zach Nichols, eh, Canadian gunslinger nga naman. Simula na po ang ating second quarter. Anton Ross kasama si Mikey Reyes. At syempre at courtside, kasama rin natin si Roxanne Monte Alegre giving us all the updates from the stands. As Arellano and Mapua go at it right here. It was a very intense first quarter, Mikey. And the pace doesn't seem to be dropping here. Yeah, ang bilis niya nito, takbuhan ng takbuhan. Pati itong Mapu, sumasabay sa takbuhan ng Arellano. But we know this is the bread and butter of Arellano. So, I'm excited to see ito. Pinagsabay na naman nila ang dalawang minions nila. Halalan and Salado on the same backcourt. And Nichols firing from the outside. Meron ang anip na fast break points ang Arellano University. At bangkaan sa ilalim, Allwell Oraime at Rani Martano. Nakakabanggaan na po dito sa loob ng arena sa Lungsod ng San Juan. Balikan muna natin si Roxanne Monte Alegre. Kasama ko ngayon ang ama ni Andretti Stevens, si Sir Steve Stevens. Hi, sir. Ngayon, sir, um, we just want to know kung sino yung nag-influence anak nyo to be a basketball player. Um, the one who influenced my son, Andretti Stevens, is both my wife and myself. Uh, since uh, he was young, we exposed him to play basketball. Sir, is it true? You're a family of athletes. Yeah, uh, all of my children are playing basketball. My eldest daughter and then my second daughter, they're all playing basketball. All right, so it definitely runs in the blood. Ngayon, we also want to know you want, we, if you can share your secret how to motivate your son for the game or during his play in the hard court. Uh, I motivate Andretti in playing basketball by uh, reminding him to keep on practicing, training, hard work, and uh, keep on focus on his uh, practice, training, and most especially on his studies. It's good to hear, sir. Thank you. Anton, Mikey? Thank you very much, Roxanne. Siyempre, uh, itong si Andretti Stevens, who started this game, was a former player from San Beda, Alabang. And I remember his rookie season. That was in NCAA season 85. He actually started some games for Mapua. Yeah, he's... Sorry, nandito na naman si Zach Nichols. Nagpapakita na naman agad-agad dito sa game natin today. But as you were saying, itong ang si Andretti Stevens, I've always loved the heart of this of this young player. I actually know yung eldest, eldest sister nga nitong si Andretti Stevens. Dea Stevens actually played for the UP Lady Maroons. And yeah, na nga, a, bas a basketball family there. And doon nakukuha ni, ni Andretti yung passion niya for this game. And a lot of passion. We can feel it here inside the arena in San Juan City as we see one of the fastest guards in the league, Ken Salado. This mass play of the game is brought to you by Smart. Live the Smart Life. Along with Giovanni, they are the fastest backcourt, I think, in the league. 25-22. Halalo knocks down a jumper. Yun yung mga tira na seldom natin nakikita from Giovanni Halalon. Kaya nga itong Mapua, I believe they are trying to let Giovanni beat them off the jump shot or off the three-point line. So we'll see how that works. All well, supal pal ni Deontay Holtz. Ito na ang Arellano. Nichols for three. One more time. Sam Nichols. Again, Zach Nichols showing us. Hindi pa siya tapos. Last two games niya. Ganyan siya shumot. Hanggang ngayon, ganun pa rin. Back-to-back three-point bombs from the Phil Canadian gunslinger, Zach Nichols. Mapua struggling to find their rhythm now. Isit, baseline. Stolen away. Here comes Halalon. Halalon bounce pass underneath. Donald Gumaru in a baseline fadeaway. That's a mortal sin against Arellano. Hindi ka pwede nagtatapon ng bola dahil aatake ng aatake itong team na to. 
a 12-2 run to start the second quarter para sa Arellano. Magpabalik po ang NCAA Season 91. Ilabas ang galing. I see some girls on their cell phones. Hopefully, they are joining the discussion on social media. Just include the hashtag NCAA Season 91 or the hashtag MITVSAU. Sabi ni Paolo Landicho, here we go. Let's win again. Take the lead. Let's go, Cardinals. Fight. Hashtag Viva Papua. Todo suporta pa rin kahit biglang uh, bumulusok. Itong Arellano University Chiefs starting the second quarter on a 12-2 run. I think it's important that they maintain ko nung pinapakita ng first, first five nila, itong si Josa Nimeth. It is very hard for Coach Atoy ko. Gusto nga niya bigyan ng break, bigyan ng pahinga para ready for the fourth quarter. Pero kung ganun ang ilalaro nila without Josa Nimeth on the floor, mahihirapan sila dumikit dito with Arellano. Arellano University playing much better as a team. Here in the second quarter, meron na silang apat na assist, five of nine from the field. Sabi ni Richard Caro, Deonsi Holtz must play big today to bring more help to Giovanni Halalon and to get this W for the Chiefs. That is very true, but other than Deonsi Holtz, and naman ulit si Zach Nichols and Salado. Also the other supporting, supporting players of Coach Jerry. Pero naiintindihan ko kung bakit uh, inaabangan talaga ng Arellano community itong breakout game ni Deonzi Holtz because last season, he was averaging 13.4 per game and 9.7 rebounds per game. This season, si Holtz, his numbers have dipped. 8 points per game, 5.7 rebounds per game lang. I was actually excited to see how Holtz plays this year kasi nga, we know last year, Rookie of the Year siya. Yes. So is this co considered a sophomore slump? But I don't think so. Experience na tong si Hall. So we have two rookies of the year, Josa Nimes, the season 87 rookie of the year. Now a veteran for Mapua and last year's rookie of the year, Deonsi Holtz, representing Arellano University. Stevens, pinasa sa loob, and the basket is good for Serrano. Pero ng apat na punto si Serrano. Alalo. Challenge by Nimes. Oh, ho, ho, Giovanni Alalo. Again, Giovanni showing us that he can actually take that shot. Binibigay sa kanya ni Josa Nimes kanina pa. They would love Giovanni to beat them with that shot rather than creating for his teammates. Intriguing matchup. Six foot three. Josa Nimes against the much smaller Giovanni Halalon. Nichols is on Nimes. Nimes crosses him up. Oh, Nichols with a block on Nimes. Again, the goalkeeper in Nichols showing us that yun nga, kaya kaya rin niya dumipensa and he is not all about shooting the ball. The goalkeeper, because we mentioned a while ago that he played hockey before basketball. This is that shot by Halalon over Nimes. The two stars going at it here. Sa kanilang first round matchup sa ikasyam na put isang season ng NCAA. Oraime, pinalik kay Nimes. Nimes, sabi niya, teka muna, set up muna natin. CJ Isil, waiting for the play to develop. Decides to fire. Masyadong malakas. Alalot, napulot ang bola. Siya mang kalamangan ng kanyang kubunan. Alalot. Pinasa kay Nichols na agaw ni Nimes. Nimes! Teka! Teka, may pabaon. Itong si Josa Nimes. Tinabas ang kanyang braso sa layup na yun. Parorin natin, Mikey. I really love the patience though of Josa Nimes. Medyo nahuli lang siya doon. Pero you can see how he operates down low. Ganda ng mga side step ng si Josa Nimes. Sayang yung pagkakataon para kay Josa Nimes, pero yun yung kanyang unang personal foul. Dito sa larong ito, he has 8 points and 3 rebounds. Alalo, drop pass, pangga, pinangga ng dalawang Mapua defenders. CJ Isid, umikot. Pinalik kay Stevens ang bola. Stevens, tinawagan ng traveling. I think that's the thing if if kakampi mo to si Giovanni kailangan ready ka lagi sa mga drop pass niya 
Actually, Nick Holtz was telling me, I, I asked him, anong feeling na pagkakampi mo itong si Giovanni Halalan at si Salado? He said, keep your eyes open. Kasi kahit nakatalikod nga naman itong dalawang to, kayang ipasa sa'yo bigla. Kaya ito si Nick Holtz ready to shoot as always. 11 turnovers para sa Mapua. Pito lamang para sa Arellano. But that's the 8th turnover for the Chiefs. Stevens lobbing it up to Oraime, who could not finish. Foul on Andretti Stevens. Sayang pagkakataon. Back to back. Missed opportunities on the fast break for the Cardinals. And those are, those are baskets. Na Papaksisian mo in the end, kasi nga libre ne. But then at the same time, I'm sure all well will try to to get that back. Past the halfway point here in the second quarter, here it ni Patrick Ho, Arellano running the fast break very well. Aside from that, they're forcing turnovers and they execute very well. Sabi naman ni Joanna Perez, first time to watch NCAA game na live, super intense pala. Like I said, all well, binawi na kagad yung miscue nila kanina ni Andretti Steven. Surprising lineup here. Uh, Anton, itong si Nimes is gonna play four for them. And we see this strong move by all well Oraime. Brought to you by Smart. Live the Smart life. Like I said, ito ata yung adjustment ni Coach Atoy. Dalawang maliit, pinasok niya. Guard to to guard Ortega and Giovanni. So, Dretti will play three and Nimes will play four. This is very surprising. I think we haven't seen this lineup since next start of season. Is it because sinusubukan tapatan ni Atoy ko ang bilis ng Arellano Chiefs? Yes, I think. I'm sure ganun yung, yung intention niya dito. Kasi nakakagulat niya, dalawang mali ito, plus Dretti playing the three. Ayun na nga, kumana agad. Inatake agad si Dretti Stevens. Ang ganda naman ng under, under goal stop doon ni Nieles. Mukhang uh, tama nga yung ginawang adjustment ng Mabu. And remember, they had 10 days to prepare for this game. And a turnover forced by Mapua. Here comes Nimes. Bounce pass to Stevens. And Stevens will shoot a bonus free throw. So I guess we owe Coach Ato an apology. Ito naman pala yung lineup na to. Mukhang reading ready sila for this lineup. Ang ganda naman, the two veterans connecting with a great pass break play. Great job by Andretti Stevens. Para protektahan ang bola. Para sa fast break layup na yun. Dretti Stevens, unang puntos, unang field goal dito sa larong ito. At napako sa 34, Mikey ang Arellano. So I guess, Anton, it's Coach Jerry Stern. Niliitan na rin niya yung lineup niya. So Banga playing five. So yun na yung pinakamalaki nila. Ortega is there, Mecca is there. So again, three small guys for both teams. And look at the defense being employed by Mapua. Nieles is actually face guarding Giovanni Halalo as Orwell on Aime gives Mapua the lead with jo that basket. Josa Nimes is really fun to watch. Ang ganda naman ng behind the head pass ito kay Orwell. This is a nothing run for Mapua. This matchup is really exciting right now. I think Anton ito yung maganda dito kay Orwell. He is really tall but at the same time really agile. So they don't feel the disadvantage with having a big guy there. Picture perfect pass. Josan Nimes behind the head para kay Orwell Oraime. That was pretty. Looked so good we had to see it again. And here comes Giovanni Halalo. Tignan natin kung ano magiging sagot ng Chiefs na agaw ni Menina ang bola. Josa Nimes, umatake. Pinalik kay Menina. Down low to Raime. He will go to the line for two. I really like this adjustment by Coach Ato Iko. What an exciting matchup he put there. Ang ganda, ang ganda ng laban. And if you're here live, mapifeel mo talaga intensity. Even the crowd is going wild for every play. And the Cardinals are playing as a team, hinahanap talaga yung mas magandang opportunity para makapuntos. Kanina, nakita natin si Josan. Ngayon naman, Menina finding Allwell Oraime as we see Coach Atoy Ko and his top lieutenant 
coach Ed Cordero. And Olman Uraime has been telling me that he really works extra with Ed Cordero para mas, mala, mas lalo pang gumanda ang kanyang post moves. Kupunan ni Coach Atoy ko, up by one, 35-34. Dito sa NCAA Season 91, ilabas ang galing. Iyan niyo pong napapanood ang NCAA Season 91 dito lang sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action. And as always, tuwing Friday, the arena in San Juan is the place to be. Dahil ngayong season, triple header tayo tuwing Viernes. Malapit na tayo sa halftime. Marami tayong dapat abangan. Roxanne Montelegre, what do we need to watch out for at the half? Magdi-trending kaya ang malulupit na moves ng ating key players dito sa NCAA. Abangan natin yan mamaya. So, ngayon, back to you, Anton, Mikey. Maraming salamat, Roxanne. Ito, mga malulupit na moves, Mikey, at mapapanood mamaya at the half. Preview yun, ha? Preview. <laughs> Top 10 plays. Exciting nga Parang naman. NBA yan dating. <laughs> Lagi naman exciting ang, ang exciting ang top 10 plays. Sisimula pa lang dati yan, mga bata tayo. Pag nakakita tayo ng top 10 plays, actually, yan, la, yan nga lang inaabangan natin. So I'm sure everyone is waiting for the first top 10 plays of the season 91 of the NCAA. Tweet us, ha? What you think should have been the top play? Kung sang ayon kayo sa number 1, sang ayon kayo sa number 2. Tweet us, include hashtag NCAA season 91 or hashtag MITVSAU at Mikey. Alam ko, nagbago ka ng Twitter handle. Uh, pakisabihan Oo, naman ng mga fans. Oo, kasi na-realize ko ang hirap sabihin on air. So, you can tweet me at underscore Mikey Reyes. Kita mo naman, mas madali yan sabihin niya yan. Anton. Yun. Follow nyo na rin si Mikey Reyes, ha? Underscore Mikey Reyes. And Coach Jerry right now adjusting na rin dun sa ginawa ni Coach Atoy ko. Pinagsabay na naman si Giovanni Halalon and Salado. But at the same time, si Mecca ang number three nila. Yonsi Holtz nagbabalik para kay Coach Jericho Deniera. Coach Jericho Deniera is really expecting a lot from his big man, Yonsi Holtz. He wants Yonsi to be an intimidating presence para sa Arellano. It just hasn't happened ngayong season 91. We have yet to see his defensive presence nga naman, katulad ng sinabi mo, Anton, dun sa ilalim. Kailangan nga niya kasi... Madalas siya na yung pinakamalaki na ginagamit ni Coach Jerry sa lineup niya. So, yun, we'll see if he can show us that side of his game dito sa game na to. Lamang na, mapuha, 38-34. Nieles, pressuring Giovanni. Yan ang mga roles itong maliliit. Basta pressuring mo si Giovanni. At eto na, yung dominating force na gustong makita ni Coach Jerry Codiniera. That was one of the strongest moves I've seen Deontay Holtz make this season. Yes, because we know him as the one who pulls up from the perimeter at the big. So ngayon, pinakita tayo, meron din siyang inside moves. Ito na naman si Josa Nimes. Good backdoor play, just could not convert. Look at Nimes, dive towards the ball. Hindi lang na secure. Halalon, a change of direction. Pinagsak ang bola, Enriquez! Tinawagan ng traveling. Iba yung aggressiveness, itong dalawang star player natin today. Josa Nimes on the other end, Giovanni Halalon dun sa kabila. Josa Nimes showing us na ganun siya excited maglaro. Dalawang taon ka ba namang umupo, Anton? This was the move I was talking about. Beyonce Holtz from the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California, showing us the moves. Very simple but very sweet. One dribble spin move off off the bank. Ganda, ganda nung galaw doon ni Holtz. That was more of a Kevin Garnett move. Oh, Kevin Garnett, ginagaya nga niya itong si Allwell. Itin natin kung papapakitaan din natin na tayo nitong si Allwell. Zach Nichols knocking down those back-to-back -back triples a while ago on the bench right now. 38-36. Difficult shot put up right there by Cadavis. Offensive rebound para sa Arellano. Alalot. Half spin, traveling, at tinawag kay Halalon. I think ito nga yung sakit medyo ni Giovanni Halalon. Pag nai-excite siya, medyo nagko-commit siya ng turnovers. But at the same time, if he stops attacking, if he stops playing the way he does, makawala naman yung effectiveness niya. So I get, I guess Coach Jerry should just take the good with the bad with Giovanni Halalon. He's still leading the Chiefs in scoring with 8 points. Dito sa larong ito, lap pass para kay Allwell. Surrounded by blue shirts from Arellano, mananatili ang bola 
sa Cardinals. That is a pretty play by Aureliano. High low from Nimes to Oraime. Hirit naman ni Ralph. Let's go, Aureliano. Galingan nyo. Sana manalo kayo. Hashtag NCAC 91. At syempre, uh, importante talaga ang larong ito para sa Aureliano. They want to get solo third place. Thank you also to Grisel La Puebla. Thank you for watching, Grisel. Kita mo na, kita mo na naman doon, Anton. Si Andretti na naman yung, yung kasama doon sa gulo doon. Eh, ganda nga na itong depensa nito si Andretti. Yan yung mga small things na nabibigay niya sa team. Andretti using the Nimes screen. Binalik kay Nimes. Inside pass kay Allwell. Mapua running out of time here and the shot clock expires. Babalik ang bola sa Arellano. But I'd like to see them continue to play the way they are. Yung high-low na yun from Nimes to Oraime. Ang ganda ng play na yun. Exacto, exacto. Because Nimes, may threat yan sa labas. So hindi mo pwedeng, hindi mo pwedeng i-double agad itong si Oraime. Sa dulo ng first quarter, the score was 20 all. Arellano, tignan natin kung may tatabla nila muli ang larong ito, alalot. Humihingi ng screen. Ginamit ng screen ni Kadavis. Halalods to Memba. In and out. Oraime with the rebound. Nawala ang bola. Enriquez off the glass. Masyadong balakas. Josa Nimes tumingin sa oras. Limang segundo na lang ang nalalabi. Pinasa kay Stevens for three. Bitin. At dyan po nagtatapos ang first half. Napaka-init. Nagbabagal ang shot. Andok sa inyo ng NCAA Season 91. Zach Nichols, Mikey, the Canadian gunslinger. No hesitations. Never. He never hesitates. Basta nakakita ng bakal yan, titira agad yan. Pero ito si Josa Nimes. Kanina pa, atake ng atake. Breaking Arellano's defense down and creating for himself and his teammates. Anton. Abangan po ninyo kung ano ang magiging number one play sa aming NCAA halftime. Ito, ang NCAA season 91. Ilabas ang galing.